Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sriram from the Commodity uh, Research Desk at Reliance Securities. Welcome to the weekly commodity market updates. So, beginning uh, with bullion as usual, uh, gold and silver prices. Uh, remained under pressure last week as the dollar and the benchmark bond deals remained near last week peak supported by upbeat uh, US economic uh, data which uh, could give impetus to the Fed to keep uh, rates uh, higher for a longer period of time going into next into 2024 as well. Uh, additionally, hawkish comments uh, from uh, Fed, several Fed members also kept the or also supported the dollar which weighed on sentiments. Uh, silver compared to gold was slightly weaker and underperformed against gold. Uh, the gold silver ratio reflected that it uh, was trading near 84 levels last week and still remains near that. Uh, the silver was uh, silver prices continue to remain under pressure amid weak industrial metal demand uh, after sluggish um, activity, uh, especially on the PMI side from Europe and China. Looking ahead for the coming week, we see uh, markets will be keenly awaiting um, the US inflation numbers tonight. Um, uh, according to a poll, uh, the report is expected to show a rise in analyze, uh, in, uh, in inflation uh, to 3.6% in an annualized basis compared to 3.2% in July, uh, primarily on the back of rising energy prices. Crude oil prices has rallied uh, significantly over the past few weeks. Uh, but uh, the core, uh, core CPI, which excludes the energy, uh, uh, is expected to slow to 4.3% from 4.7%. And as we know, the Fed uh, looks at the core inflation numbers as well before gauging uh, what to do with rates. So that will also be a key trigger for the markets in the evening session. How uh, Again, any surprises on the inflation number could raise expectations of another rate hike. Possibly not in September, but maybe when the Fed again meets in November or maybe the most likely will be in December where they could hike by another 25 basis points if the inflation remain high or elevated going forward over the next three months. After the inflation numbers, investors will also look ahead to the ECB monetary policy meeting outcome this week. Uh, it is expected that the ECB could keep rates steady. Uh, with dark clouds forming over Europe as far as economic data is concerned. So ECB could remain cautious ahead, uh, uh, ahead of that and uh, possibly maintain rates at the, at the current levels. But uh, recently we have seen that ECB has downgraded the uh, forecast for the Euro, Euro area, especially concerns remain elevated for Germany uh, after a recent weakness in the GDP numbers from there. So the statement and the press conference have not been factored in, but uh, most of the markets are factored in that status quo will be maintained. So the press conference and uh, the statement by the ECB will be a key trigger for the markets. Uh, a more dovish statements will definitely pull the euro lower, in turn supporting the dollar and, uh, and that will have a negative impact on the bullion markets going forward after the ECB numbers. So that will be a key trigger uh, for the markets. After the ECB, next week we have the Fed meeting. Um, that will be a key trigger. According to a CME Fed Watch tool, only 7% of markets believe now that there could be a rate hike in September. So markets are definitely factoring in that there will be no more rate hikes uh, in September. Possibly the inflation numbers coming in in the next few months will be a key trigger, but in September there will be no rate hike. So investors will be keenly awaiting for the economic projections which will be published by the US Federal Reserve uh, and that will be the key driver for the markets in the short run. On the charts, we see the range for MCX copper, MCX gold October contract remaining between 58 to 50 on the lower side to 59,100 on the upside. On the international side, we see a range between 19 point, uh, 1915, 15, 15 to 1960 on the upside of things. Moving to uh, crude, uh, both domestic and international prices continue to gain last week and possibly could continue to uh, show, uh, show some signs as well, uh, some strength as well in the coming week or so, supported by tightness in global oil supplies. OPEC yesterday released a report showing global oil inventories will continue to fall and will fall to 10 year low and projected robust demand for the uh, oil in 2023 and 2024. Uh, meanwhile, EIA also uh, projected uh, robust demand and they said demand will rise uh, uh, to 101 million barrels per day in 2023 and 102.3 in 2024 from 99.2 currently in this year. So demand surging demand and shortage of supply will continue to be the primary driving factors in the short run. 
of course uh, looking ahead in the coming week we see prices can look ahead to the um, um, inventory data recent inventory data has suggested the, uh, 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 a fall or i should say a uh, 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 fall in inventories and that will be a key driver in the markets last week we saw the markets uh, witness a big drop uh, uh, inventory witness a big drop in the us side of things by about 6.3 million and another big drop or a smaller build will also uh, you know cap any further downside for the markets again uh, uh, the key trigger will be the supply shortage concerns for the investors and that will outweigh any concern of slower demand rise going forward from larger producers like china and india going forward in the coming week or so uh, investors will also look ahead to the iea report which is expected to be uh, released tonight on the supply and demand outlook so that will be also a short term trigger for the markets on the charts we feel a range for the international nymex october contract will be anywhere between 85 dollars on the lower side to 91 dollars on the upside and, and domestically we see a range of 7100 to 7550 going forward in the coming week finally on the base metal complex uh, prices rebounded from last week low i made optimism surrounding chinese economy uh, data showed chinese august credit data boosted sentiment after total financing uh, financing was about 3.1 to 3.12 trillion in august up sharply uh, uh, from the uh, uh, 5528 billion seen in july uh, of course factory gate prices uh, in china has eased showing signs of stabilization in the economy also the chinese cpi number also returned to positive territory territory suggesting that the recent steps taken by china may be working so markets found did find some support on the back of that but upside will remain capped or was capped after last week um, uh, upbeat data in the us fueled renewed inflation worries in the us side of things and that could keep the interest rates higher for a longer time and that uh, kept the upside limited for uh, most base, uh, base metal prices looking ahead we see markets remaining range one ahead of that us key inflation numbers uh, uh that will be the key trigger apart from that the other uh, key trigger will be data from china fixed asset investment industrial production numbers along with retail sales are uh, all scheduled ahead of that golden week holiday next week so that will be a key trigger i have going into the weekend for the base metal sector uh, uh, this week um so the bias could remain range bound uh, for uh, copper and other base metals and on the charts we feel mcx september copper can remain within anywhere between 715 718 on the lower side to 745 to 750 on the upside of things in the coming week or so so that's it from uh, our side uh, thank you very much for watching have a pleasant day and a week ahead thank you